L3 Harris has developed an autonomous ground vehicle called Diamondback that has some interesting features. We came down to the show floor to talk to Hugh McFadden about it. I understand that this vehicle wasn't designed for a particular program, but it's meant to demonstrate the art of the possible. So what sort of possibilities are we talking about, Hugh? Yeah, that's, it's a great point. This is a prototype system that we built knowing that there's a real emphasis on robotic first contact. So what does that look like with a highly mobile system that can really extend forward both as a vehicle, but then have deployables that come off of it, UAVs that launch and lean forward. And so what does that look like when you could extend reconnaissance that deep mm -hmm. and that far forward? So that's something that we're looking at. That's great. So you talked about uh, demonstrating those possibilities. So let's talk a little bit about the vehicle itself sure. and some of its capabilities. I noticed it's got a, a drone retrieval and launch system on top. So yes. what are some of the cool stuff involved? So most importantly, core of the vehicle is our partnership with Overland AI, which does the autonomy stack. So they have a cross-country autonomy system that's perfect for a vehicle like this. So we've partnered with them for that autonomy stack. Mm -hmm. Second is we do have a launch recovery recharging system. And for the recharging, we actually partnered with a company called Quaze so that we could have vehicles go out. We could actually stack up to seven. We have a system called Amorphous that does multi-domain autonomy control across the vehicle, across the air assets. So they all really work as one and they can be retrieved back and continue moving on. Mm -hmm. What about the sensors? What sort of uh, situational awareness does it provide for reconnaissance and surveillance? And so not only do we have the UAVs which have sensors on them, but then this prototype vehicle actually has an MX-10 Rista on it to mm -hmm. be able to look very far forward, uh, really get good clarity on threats that are, are quite deep. Uh, also the ability to laze. Beyond that, we have an RF collection system that's going on this prototype as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so, uh, of course, uh, everyone now needs to build systems like this with open modular architecture. Yes. Tell us about what you've done with this vehicle to enable warfighters through open architecture. Yeah, that, that's really important because they're, the only way that we're really gonna keep up with threats is if we build a system that allows for continuous upgrades, tech insertions, and so something we've done both with this and with some of our other systems is uh, create data models for all the different, in particular, software applications and then the hardware. We just follow the industry open standards for hardware mm -hmm. so that we could sever, pull out, upgrade, and it's not that big of a deal then if we need to add new electronics, add new cards, add new software, it becomes a much quicker and less expensive uh, activity to do. Sure, and finally, what's next What's next for Diamondback? What, what are your plans for demonstrations and to uh, maybe have some soldier, sh soldier touch points? Ah, oh, that's perfect, because the reality is, is though we developed this prototype with something in mind, the reality is, is we have to have soldier feedback, right? Nothing works without user feedback, at least nothing works well. And so our target is in the first half of next year, really targeting spring, to be doing demonstrations through spring and summer so that we can then push out uh, initial product by the end of the year. Very good, thank you, yes. Hugh. Thank you. So we've seen some of the ways that L3 Harris has brought new capabilities to autonomous ground vehicles. Thanks for watching.